YouTube, Lorded here, and as you can see, I'm be playing some King Arthur role-playing game. I love this game, other than the fact that the creators of this really have, like, the shittiest, uh, graphics. Like, the engine that this thing runs cannot be ran on any high-end computer or any low-end. Like, it's really shitty. Uh, I don't know how why they made it so terrible to play. But other than that, the gameplay is fun to do, and we're gonna do K Fam. Ah, main or prologue? Main or prologue? Main or prologue? Main or prologue? Guess I'll do main. Prologue. Casual. Normal. Normal. So there's gonna be a lot of talking in this. So the episodes are going to be split up some. Actually, I might just skip all the. Nah, I won't skip the dialogue. I don't know. I might just skip and just have the action. Who knows? Yeah, this will be my comeback to YouTube. Uh, because I don't have time to stream all that much. So I'm going to hope to build an audience on YouTube. Well, it's actually loading pretty Long quickly. Long before oh, the glorious oh, yeah. days of King Arthur. Even before his father, Uther Pendragon, was born, Britannia saw the arrival of the legions. In the name of the Roman emperors, they invaded the south, then set out to conquer the whole land. At the northernmost point of their conquest, where they met the savage Picts, they halted and founded the giant fort of Ibarakum. Ibarakum grew and became the capital of the northern provinces. But the Romans who came here never felt at ease. They feared Britannia, the wizards, and the gods in the woods. They knew that something ancient was slumbering beyond Ibar Arkham, up in the north. So the Roman Emperor Hadrian decided to build a wall to protect his land. Legends speak of Hadrian's wits and his mastery in the arcane, but some say he had help from a young wizard called Merlin. The wall was magnificent, and for a long time stone and magic kept out the tribes and everything else that lurked out in the cold. Then, times changed. When the fabled Ninth Legion disappeared beyond the wall, it was the turn of the tide. The Romans slowly withdrew from Britannia. But five noble families decided to stay in Ibaracum. They succumbed to decadence and fought over the remnants of their former glory until a young monarch in the south, a Briton called Arthur, changed everything. The flames of magic flared up again and a new age of wonders began. The noble families realized that it was the time they had been waiting for. While King Arthur was uniting the south, they were busy squabbling over their possible leader. The Sula family seemed to be the right choice to build a new Ibarakum. But not everyone agreed. The family's enemies were merely waiting for the right moment to deal with the Sulas and their heir, the Valiant Septimus. The right moment is now. Something terrible has happened in the south, where King Arthur rules the land. Meanwhile, Ibarakum is under threat from the north. The wall cannot hold back the pits much longer. When Septimus left his ah, family, there were they his have axes and his friends yeah, picks, and picks, picks off axes, to battle, he was betrayed I can't stay quiet for this entire thing. Kind. I'm pretty sure some of you have already they seen the him of this. And Look at that battle. In the heat Look at these guys. Battle. Why the fuck do they have giant trolls? By them? Alone, surrounded by savages. Still, he fought valiantly. And then he until dies. A fateful blow sent him sprawling to the ground. The pits left him there. On the other side of the wall, in the firm belief that I should have played main. Actually, I think the prologue is almost mm. right. Septimus Sulla lay among the fallen for a very long time. I love the story to this and the and voice. Then, it brings suddenly, you in. He opened his eyes, and then now we get to choose shit, or not. Oh. When you open your eyes, you can't decide whether you're awake or in some kind of dream. I'm in a dream. You stand upon a soaring mountaintop, 
looking down on a thick layer of clouds beneath your feet. Look, guys, it's serious. It is almost as if you were in the abode of oh, the Oh, I know. Arts. Romans, who do they... Could it be that you ponder? But your Romans thoughts don't. They are don't follow interrupted God. They follow by an actually ethereal, Jesus, right? yet powerful voice. Oh, no. I just took world history and I don't even fucking remember. Who are We're you, call this lost dude. soul? And why have you crossed into the land of savages? Because we're obviously Greeks. I'm not lost. I am said Rasula, the warlord. And I need not explain myself to you. Oh, uh, do, doing this choosing thing uh, determines what class you'll be. I believe there's warrior and wizard. Uh, I'll do this just because I'm your be an reply asshole. merely echoes in the celestial void at first. But then the apparition of an elderly figure manifests itself before you. He addresses you like with a different faint classes, smile and an air of absolute authority. Ah, a genuine leader with pride and spirit. Very promising. But let's see what else we can learn about you. As he speaks, you realize that you know him. This dude's voice, this guy, his, his voice here, and now voices for everything. A hundred times game. before. This is the great emperor Hadrian himself, who died centuries ago. You begin to struggle with this impossible thought, but your pondering is cut short when you are beset by a series of visions. Up here we go. Still, Images form and melt away, one after another. You soon realize that these are scenes from your own past, but they are all hazy and lack details. Finally, the visions stop, and you are left staring at one of your past battles. Hmm. A true warlord indeed who has no qualms with claiming the spoils of war. Yep. Look at that badass right there. <sighs> sword or... Sword of that. Sword of that. Ah, I like swords though. I like swords. I like... Swords. We'll go with that. Oh, I get to yes, do a wheel. Yes, indeed. I get to do Your a wheel. Your skills have brought you many victories. And yet, here you are. Tell me, how is it that the barbarians defeated the mighty Septimus How is this? How is my mouse and mouse? Have the mouth? Romans become so weak? Or was it your strategy which was flawed? It was my strategy. Because I am an asshole. And don't want to. Uh, what was it? I betrayed. I was betrayed by the Carcalas. I sent some of my legions hunt down marauders. An obvious mistake. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, I don't think he like wants to admit his mistakes. <laughs> there was no mistake. Uh, I'll choose this one. It seems the apparition intends to discuss the reasons for your defeat further. But the thought of the betrayal fills you with sudden rage. Enough, you say. I have answered your questions. Now you answer mine. Who are you, and what is this place? <laughs> See, he voices for everything. Indeed. You have the right to know. I was once known as Emperor Hadrian, and you are in my prison. As you know, I mastered the arcane arts in my life, and created many arcane objects for the glory of Rome. My greatest creation was the Wall, and yet it is not the reason I'm here. Unbeknownst to me, when I first bound magic to an object, an object of personal vanity. I also bound my eternal soul to it. Oh. Thus I became part of my golden wreath, unable to let it go 
even after death. Centuries passed, and now only a fragment of the wreath remains. But that is enough to keep me here. Hmm. So, am I dead? You have been mortally wounded, yes. But your heart still beats. Still, you would have died had you not stumbled upon my wreath. It is fortunate that you did, for both of us. But your questions will have to wait. That I must first wrecked. show you something. Wrecked. Much has wrecked. happened since you marched north, and there are many things that you must know. How long have I been While you for? were fighting savages, an enemy struck at your home. Oh, yeah. An enemy you are not aware of. So there is Sola, my son the and Emperor wife falls is dead. silent and lets you watch another stream of images which depict a bloody assault on your home. You can only look on in horror as everything you hold dear is ruthlessly destroyed. That's good because then uh, nothing can hold you back. Your family, leader. your bride, even your lands. All gone. You have lost much, but you may yet save some of what you have. In this place, our powers combined can alter the very fabric of reality, and thus we can change what is about to happen. But your life is fading away, and we cannot risk you dying. We can only make one change. So you must choose. Uh, training post or village? Training post or village? I think I'll do the village. Very good. You have now faced the past and the present, but you have not yet faced the future, and you must see it to know what you must do. All your suffering, all the devastation you've seen, is just a prelude to something much worse. I thought it was inevitable, until your arrival provided us with a chance. But it all hinges on you now. This is what will happen if you die. Intro. This is what will be if you don't walk the path that destiny has chosen for you. Our people have grown decadent and weak. Divided and leaderless, they cannot withstand what is to come. The members of your murdered family will have been the lucky ones. There is a reason you found me, Septimus, and together we shall face a monumental task. With the power of my wreath, yep. you shall return from the dead. And uh, chisel the world around you until it. it has a future. They'll again. chisel their faces off of my dick. You must rebuild the legions and yeah. unite the squabbling families. I build the uh, You must restore the glory of Rome so it can stand firm against uh, the tide. The legion looks really cool in this game. They're wearing like skeleton shit. While the rest of the world burns, a new Rome shall stand. Yep. But first, guns. you must reclaim what you have lost. You shall return home, bury your dead, rebuild, and gather your strength. Your people and your soldiers await you. There is much to be done before the name Septimus Sula is known by all. Yep. I believe there's a fight at the very beginning of this. Yeah, see how laggy it is? Like, and I have a nice computer too. Like, it's decent enough to be able to run this. On your way home, you meet an army of Roman soldiers headed towards the heart of the Sula estate. The leaders are retired Sula veterans, whom your father charged with taking some of the family treasures to safety when the rebellion started. After the Senate proved too slow to respond to the crisis, they took the initiative and used the funds to raise troops. They are overjoyed to see you alive and insist. 
All right, so before we start anything, where's, uh, hold on, where's options? We're gonna have to turn down everything. Uh, we're gonna have to do low for now. Like, I don't want to, but we're gonna have to. Yes, my lord. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And we do this. Right click on this nigga. And right click on him. And we shall go into war. Boom. Look at that. His sword just went straight through him. Um. Alright, let's battle. Little dragons right here, aren't they beautiful? The team could be so good if only their oh, if only their engine could actually run on be run on computers. <sighs> they have so many bugs to fix in this game, but they never did it. Now, about this one, it was on sale. I think. Well, yeah, it gets so laggy. And that makes me sad. I have to capture these little points. And because you capture these little points, they give you like magic abilities. I know how to play King Arthur 2. Yeah, see how laggy this is? Oof, I have to turn like. Jesus. It gets so laggy when you want to get up close and click on your people. Um, what are you? Wait, let me get. all of my archers somewhere. Um, Spearman, I think Spearman should be in the front. Just kidding. Let's get the formation started. You guys right here. Get these guys in the front. Uh, where's my Emperor? Get you right here. <clears throat> um, horseback riders together. We'll have them go off on the side and capture shit. Spearmen on each side to help guard the archers. And the light infantry behind. Oh, that voice crack. And then we will have these guys right here. Let's see, I have to take these guys and bring them all the way over here. To capture this. Go to rejuvenation spell. And if I send them even further. They'll be able to capture. Actually, where's the Zeus? It's behind me. I also need to capture that. <clears throat> so, uh. Let's attempt that. How do you pause the game? Send them out to do that. Run! <laughs> Actually... I'm gonna need you guys to go over here and capture that. Uh, we're gonna move this forward. <laughs> attempt to not get run over by uh, their cavalry while we wait. Especially when, like, look at this shit. Look at the frame drop though. The frame drop is going to be real. This game could be as good as Total War, but... It's 
Let's get you guys right there. What are you mates doing? Go, run! I should have that captured by now. Bolt. What do they have control of? Just this random... Random... I don't even know why that's randomly built there. For these rebel archers, rebel warriors, archers, or warriors. Let's put you guys in some of these huge ass formations. Let's make them uh, so that they can't be hit by archers. That's what it does. Have we captured this yet? Oh, they have men moving out over here. Okay, still waiting for the capture. The second I get it, I'm gonna go take them over. Um, and it should be mine. Nope, it's fine, I have lightning down here. Alright, so what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna move down here. We're gonna take that over. Oh, actually, it's just two horsemen. How's that gonna work? How long of a cooldown is this? 90 seconds? The enemy hero is casting a spell. Your magic shield is under normal strength. What was he casting a spell to do? <laughs> oh. Okay, you guys go down there and do your shit. Let's move my men forward. <clears throat> These guys want to fight, and they're going to get it. So what's going to happen is you guys attack the archers. We need to hold these warriors back somehow. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave some spearmen back. Um, this other spearman guy go up right there, and then the archers can just fire on whatever, and then my my guy can do whatever. Um. See how this works out. Go in there and take those guys out. <laughs> what are you doing? A spell was cast. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Go take those niggas out. Fire! Bell was cast. And now my gat men will just hoard up, I guess. I need to keep a lookout on where their men are gonna come from to wreck my archers. Cause they will wreck my archers soon. Um spell cast my ass. How are the horsemen doing? Yeah, this is such action. Look at this. Look at all this is going on right here. Look at all this! There's his leader and there's mine. Let's get Septimus to go uh, fight this guy. Wait, what does this guy even look like? We're about to lose a lot of frames. Ah, uh, that's what he looks like. Alright, stop looking at that and look at how my archers are about to get wrecked. Horsemen are coming. Alright, I'm gonna need. One of you right here, right now. Like right now. Because here they come. Pause. Let me take those. Fire! Actually, let's pull both back. 
Like, because we need to guard these guys. A spell was cast. You know, we're gonna blow them up. A spell was cast. Because we're assholes. What is going on? Alright, I need my horsemen back. Um, where's the map? They almost done. I need them back right now. Before I get wrecked. Cause it's going to happen. Fire! These archers are just firing on whoever, to be honest. Come on guys, run faster. This is the best I've uh, managed my troops so far this game. And they're all, look at these dead guys. Look at this. Oh, that's still my men too though. There's no the blood. The enemy has cast a spell. So I'll take a shit ton of... Oh. Wait, get them off, the archers. Attack them! Hurry! Oh my god. You're gonna have to be switched to melee real quick. Because <sighs> the warriors are so slow. Here we go. Now they're clashing in there. Look at this. Did they actually hoard up like this back in the day? I doubt it. But uh, my archers are going to die if they stay in this, so... Let's get this. A those. spell has been cast. Your men are going to die. Talking about the solo archers to get the fuck out of there. I want my archers to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> but men are going to die. No, go down there and capture that. I guess go fight that. I don't know what's going on anymore. I really don't. Um, shield wall, close array. Uh, Victory no... is near. All right, let's see how fast it takes for these guys to die from archers. Oh, they're getting fucked. How many of them are left? Six. Six. Come on. You guys still have a while to kill them. And they're dead. It's just one guy. And he's down. Nice. Fire! Run. Oh, uh, where are my horse guys? Herb and just get down there. I just want you to capture that. <laughs> the enemy has cast a spell. Oh, well, that's shitty. Oh, yeah, he's rejuvenating. <sighs> Spells are a thing in this game. Oh, they're hoarding around that dude. Oh, no, we got it. Thank we Did we win? That's a win, right? Let's just go help those guys out. I would do this, but it would hurt my own men. Oh, there we go. I don't know how much I lost, though. It's one thing I hate is when I'm when people my men are already attacking. They have more men that come around to wreck me even more.
I think that was decent enough. I didn't lose the entire... Oh, I lost my spear. Lost the entire spear levy, or whatever you want to call them. Wow. All 120. What killed them? Like, all the archers? Damn. Objectives. Eliminate the rebel army. Alright, we did that. Okay. And adventure quest. We gotta move here. Let's do it. I don't want to lose an entire thing of man. Damn it. I like spear guys. You survived the deadly silence at the wall. You came home and for the first time in your life, All you right, see guess the main more square of, of Ibaraka as the perfect symbol of what the provinces have become. Crumbling palaces, cracked flagstones, all hidden in the shadows of the past. Cringing before the gigantic statues built by Emperor Hadrian. On the broad steps of the Senate building, you come across an unusually large gathering where small groups gather to scheme and gossip. The news of your return must have reached here sooner than you'd thought. You feel their questioning stares while you are climbing the steps. Muffled voices herald your arrival in the gloomy vaulted hall. You notice that some of the senators quickly withdraw into the shadows. You walk briskly past the row of marble columns and enter the chamber of the senate. Oh yes. The chamber of the senate resembles a large cauldron where the rows of seats gradually descend towards the speaker's stand. When you arrive, the only person there is the censor, the administrator responsible for keeping the catalogue of the meetings, but the crowd follows you. The censor shakes his head sadly. My sincere apologies, but you are not a member of the Senate. You have no right to speak mm -hmm. here. You feel the nauseating surge I of anger rising violence, in well, you. Know how I feel. This man can't fathom the things you went through, but you might give him a taste. Teach him how I let him know how you I feel. You simply sneer at the censor. By the gods of Ibarakum, I didn't see any bills of proscription outside that announced my death and put my family property up for sale. I inherited my father's post as a senator, and I intend to act like it. Mm. Walk straight to the speaker's stand. Uh oh, fuck you, nigga! Noble senators, I'm aware that my behavior may strike you as offensive. Some of you think my words defy tradition. But take into consideration the sad events that befell my family. This matter is of the gravest urgency. If, if I'm, I'm not, not a senator, senator I can't I address you properly. If you want to formally discuss my request, I'll wait here. However, Considering the urgency of the matter I intend to present before you, I'm willing to share my thoughts with you before the formal session. You pause and the hall is filled with an excited buzz. He's just taken, he's just taken, man. Cornelius, the head of the merchant family Severus, nods to the auger in his traditional robe with the blood-red stripes. The auger invokes the blessings of the gods on the assembly and opens the session. The auger, wearing his traditional robe with its blood-red stripes, invokes the blessings of the gods on the assembly, then summons the senator of the highest rank, Cornelius Severus. Severus. Cornelius Severus is a noble-looking man with silver hair and a very powerful presence. After greeting the senate, he immediately turns to you. I see that Septimus Sulla is making an unexpected appearance among us. May I ask for his formal acceptance into our ranks? Yes. The senators argue among themselves for a while, carefully weighing every word. It takes a while until the noise in the hall subsides. Then an elderly member of the Ordo Equester raises to speak. Think my headphones are hurting. The aging senator puts your request to the vote and the senators reach a unanimous agreement. Afterwards, Cornelius Severus walks to the speaker's platform, but only to ask you to speak. 
I will walk to the street honoring tradition ask. Yep, I'm gonna walk and speak. Senators, you begin bitterly. You ordered me to the wall to help the Caracalla family against the invading Picts. And then I was left alone, betrayed by those who sought my help. Lies! shouts one of the Caracallas. We had to move back to our states to defend ourselves. Let's accuse them now. There at Senator Caracalla. Your estates were far away from any danger, and the place where you set up your camp is a day's walk from the wall. The senator suddenly looks more relaxed, and he even tries a weak smile. Prove it, Sula! Otherwise these are just empty words! <laughs> senator Caracalla continues. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, we were delayed. That much is true. But look who is talking about betrayal! The leader who survived the battle without any wounds! So he deftly accuses you of cowardice and places you under scrutiny. Excited first. murmuring sweeps through the hall. These wounds would have sent an average man to death's door. But here you are, with only the pink scars of your healed wounds as a reminder. Yep. There aren't any healers in Ibarakum who could perform such a miracle. That Show them how much sure. of an OG I am. Anticipating the next question, you speak first. I have no idea which god was gracious enough to spare my life, but I'll say my prayers for all of them, you say, trying to head off any accusations. Or perhaps it was a demon, roars Caracalla. Let's ask the Considering the nature of the miracle, the act of healing suggests a divine intervention answers the auger carefully. He looks like he wants to add something, so you quickly silence him with a curt nod. <laughs> Good thing I have him on my side. Most of my warriors died in that battle. I was left for dead, bleeding from my wounds, and it is a miracle that I survived. And for what? To come home and see my family destroyed, my estates burned to the ground, I stood up for you and you betrayed me. So make me your leader. The senators exchange ashamed glances. Instead of the usual commotion, this time eerie silence fills the marble wall. I'm talking about the series of seemingly accidental events that somehow still led to the destruction of my family. Don't they sound suspicious? Should I also mention the absence of the Caracalla family from the battle? Or the unknown soldiers who looted my lands? The senators can't contain their anger anymore. The noise, comes the back. noise quickly becomes deafening. These are only assumptions. We demand proof. However, you sense uncertainty in the air that is far from the angry disbelief uh, that so, they display. So more sees a suspicion. Uh, do we want to do that? Yeah, that's always what you want to do. Bring the place in on themselves. I can't prove anything, and that's the beauty of it. The conspirators were clever, but you are mistaken if you believe that the destruction of my family will be the end of this. I fear that those behind these machinations have a much greater goal, to rule New Rome. You all know the Consultum the Senate passed a hundred years ago. That decree set the terms that still apply to the families lending military or financial help for the protection of the wall. Namely, that all losses sustained must be covered by the other families. Hmm. The Sulla family defended the wall, He's and thus the whole realm against the tide of the Picts. And what was the price we paid? We lost everything. Our soldiers, slaves, and estates are gone. Not to mention the personal losses. I demand compensation. <laughs> I think the claim of Septimus Sulla is justified, Cornelius Severus says. We all know that the Caracalla family was a frequent beneficiary of said decree during the last decades. 
Why should we refuse to compensate the Sula family for the same service to the realm? The head of the Caracalla family avoids your glance. After the military misfortunes of Septimus Sulla, oh, it I'm seems sorry. quite irresponsible to trust him with an army. If the Senate is willing to grant money for such purposes, I insist that we assemble a joint army to defend the wall. The debate drags on. Sometimes you interrupt the conversation with a well-placed, subtle argument, steering the discussion in the desired direction. However, you feel faint hostility towards you from many of the Senators, especially the allies of the Caracallas and the Masalas. Uh, continue. You decide to settle the matters with a harsh interruption. Noble Senators! I came here with a simple request, but now it seems to me that the Senate is unable to decide even such a trifling matter. But a weak Senate is the sign of a weak Ibarakum. Ooh, he kill him. The uproar is so loud that it's almost ear-piercing. This is clearly Are a they tired of yelling yet? into <laughs> the annals of the Senate. Finally, the Augur has to intervene personally, but it takes some time until everyone calms down. Now the Senate will vote on the matter of your compensation. About time. The Senate offers you 2,000 gold and grants you an auxiliary force until you've gathered a new army. Damn right. One of the Quintus and Cerberus. The debate is over. Who's going to solo Auxilia? That's cool. Minus 8 to Caracal. Well, Caracals are assholes. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't, believe we, ah, don't forget to leave a like. Well, actually, I don't care about likes. Uh, subscribe and comment, actually. Um, is that an army? And uh, I'll be back with more of this, hopefully. I uh, just need to change out the graphics a little bit and make it to where it runs a little bit smoother. So, yeah, uh, peace out, guys.